Jose. Jose. Hello, Hello. Jose. Hello. How are you? Every kind of good. Okay, good. Is it raining where you are? Actually, no. Not anymore? No, yet. Okay, not anymore. What, no, was, it, what, was it raining before? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Two hours ago. All right, good. Did you get wet? Uh, so, so. All right, good. Marcelo, how are you? Fine, teacher. Good. Good evening. Hi. Is it raining where you are? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. A little oh. bit. All right, good, good. Yes. Uh, you are, in, in, where, where are you right now, Marcelo? What part? I am in Ayutuxapeque, Mexicano. Okay. And you, Jose? Soy a pango. Okay, all right. All right, good. So, what do you guys do on Fridays when we don't have class? What do you guys do? Um, in my in my case, I play with my daughter. Okay, how old is your daughter? Three years old. And you, and you only have one daughter? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Eduardo, how are you? What, one, two, yes. Oh, fine. Good evening. Good. How was your day, Eduardo? Uh, kind of tough. Well, uh, too much uh, banking process today. Okay. Uh, like transactions? Tomorrow will be, yes. Tomorrow will be a payday. Okay. For the vendors and, and the, the sales the banks. Also. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and you pay every 27th of the month? No. No. Uh, every week to, to our vendors and uh, people to, to, to the workers, uh, 15 and 30. Okay. Good. Every two weeks. Every two weeks. That's good. Mm -hmm. Nice. In my case, I get paid every month. What? Yes, every month. Uh, that kind of salary is very difficult to handle. Oh, it, it's very long. Sometimes it never arrives. Yes. <laughs> right. Teresa yes, and Evelyn, welcome. Difficult. Good evening. All right, so let's begin. Um, briefly, uh, do you remember the topics we discussed yesterday? It's town, town vocabulary and... What was the vocabulary yeah. related to? Towns. Border town, mountain, mountain. Mountain town. Mountain town. Mountain. 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 Okay. Mountain. Mountain. And, and, and which examples did you guys give for a border town? El boy. We say the matillo. El boy, el matillo. Las chinamas. Chinamas. San Cristóbal. Yeah. Is San Cristóbal a border town? In Santana? San Cristóbal. Uh, I'm like a blind spot, no? Sure. <laughs> maybe, a blind sure. spot, maybe a blind spot. All right, good. Maybe a blind spot. Okay, good. All right, so let's begin. Um, 
for today we have three different activities. One of them is a review about past models. The other one is for specific words that we use to connect ideas. And there is also space uh, for you to guys be working in groups and talk about one particular topic. Now, before we start, hello, Mr. Vides. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All good right. Evening. Um, can you please remind me how we use past models uh, to express regret? Past model to express. <clears throat> For example, should. Okay. What is the function of should? It's um, something that you sh you have, you didn't do, but you have to do it. Okay. To do it. Okay. So let's use today as an example. Today it was raining in the afternoon and I didn't have an umbrella. How can you use a past model to tell me something? You should have brought an umbrella. Okay. 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 Now imagine that it was raining and I was walking. Um, how do you use should in that case to, to use a past model? So you should have mm, stayed Good. home. Good. Oh, okay, you should have stayed home. What okay. else? What if I want to use could? How do you use a past model using could? You could use, you could use what? Okay, you could have used you could have just, you could have just. Oh. Okay, now what is the contraction of could have? Could have. 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 Yes. Remember that you need to somehow bite your lower lip and you say, uh, you could have. Could have. Should have. Must have. So it doesn't matter which one you're using. If you're using the contraction, you guys have to go in like could have, could have, could have, must have, and so on. All right. So um, what if the information is negative? Mm -hmm. So imagine you go to the uh huh. Tell you me. shouldn't have brought the umbrella. Okay, so you say that if it's sunny and you're not it's using sunny. it. Yeah. So you said, oh. Yes, of course. So, so you, no, your yeah. sentence is good. So you said, look, it's very sunny, so you shouldn't have brought the umbrella. Oh. Good, good. Or let's say you go to the supermarket and while you are in the supermarket, it starts raining. What do you say to yourself? How do you say, me pude haber esperado? Me pude haber esperado. Right there, you're expressing a possibility. I could have. Uh, I could, I could have, have. Awaiting. I could have. Await. I could have waited. 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 Now remember, it, it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive, negative, or a question. The form of the verb is always uh, past participle. Past participle. Right? Could have waited. Yes, I could have waited. I could have waited. <coughs> now, what, 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 I could have waited. I could have waited. What would be the negative waited. sentence for that? <coughs> Couldn't have. Exactly. 
I couldn't have waited. I couldn't have waited. It was have waited. An, yes, it was an emergency. I needed to buy the food, so I couldn't have waited. I couldn't have waited. Exactly. I couldn't have waited. I'm sorry. More All right, so let me show you some uh, <coughs> some scenarios. Um, let's see this here. <coughs> You see the PowerPoint? Yes. yes. Yes, we can see. Okay, what's the name of the slide? Pass model, Pass review. model review. Okay. Pass model review. Pass models review. Okay, so we have seven different situations. And for every situation, you're supposed to use past models. Look at the first example. Evelyn, can you please read the first example? Evelyn, can you hear me? Um, I'm sorry, yes. Uh, I told my brother a secret, he told everyone. Okay, so how can you use a past model in this particular scenario? Anybody? I shouldn't have told him. I shouldn't have told him. Good. What else? Mr. Bides? Um. How would you say, él me pudo haber metido en problemas? Could, he could have he could have. Into, into me in troubles, no? Okay, uh, we need to change the verb. In like, the... Okay, how do you say meterse en problemas? Like, like when I take my son to school, I say, I say to him, look, don't get in trouble. Don't get um, in trouble. Uh, okay. Okay, so school have he could, he could have, have gotten have me gotten in trouble. Okay, he could have gotten me, could have gotten me in he trouble. Could have gotten me in trouble. Especially if some of the information you gave him was confidential, it was serious information. He told everyone, so he said, man, he could have gotten me in trouble. Right? He could have gotten me in trouble. Yes. yes. Uh huh. All right. So I'm going to divide groups again. Um, everybody in your groups has to participate and give your opinion. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are uh, are necessary. That's part of the process. Got it? Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. So let's do this right there. So you guys are gonna be working in pairs. Here we go. What will we do? Uh, discuss each scenario, but give your opinion by using a past model like the first example we were doing. I told my brother a secret, he told everyone. Then Teresa says, I shouldn't have told him anything. And then someone mm -hmm. says, he could have gotten me in trouble. So it doesn't matter what your opinion is, just make sure that you're using past models. Okay. Okay. He left home late. There was a lot of traffic. She was late for work. She 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 should have she have she could have waited. Red, red, uh, 
and the profit. <coughs> driven, profit. Okay, driven. 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 So, okay, so she loved, she left home late. There was a lot of traffic. She was late for work. She was late for work. So, for what I understand, uh, you want to say, ella no debió haber llevado su carro. Is that what you were trying to say? He shouldn't, he shouldn't. She shouldn't have. Carry. No. Uh -huh. She should have left home earlier. Okay, good. She should have left home earlier. Good. Now, what do you think, Jose? She, she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have, uh, drink, uh, how do you say, Risa? Okay, so you said, uh, she mustn't have been in a hurry. She mustn't have been in a hurry. Okay. She mustn't have been in a hurry. Right? Uh, what do you think, Marcelo? Mm, she could have woke up early. Okay, she could have woken up. Woke up um, early. Okay, what is the past tense of wake? Woke. Woke. And the past Woke. participle? Woken. 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 So, oh, okay. Could have. Okay. Uh huh. She could have. Woken up Woke. early. Okay, good. Very good. Let me visit another uh, group. I'll see you guys in a minute. You could have okay. call it. Call it. That's Which one are you doing? Which one are you doing? The third one. Okay. So you didn't call. I was getting worried. Give me the sentence one more time. <laughs> you and... you should uh -huh. call. You should call me. Okay. Call you, should me. Have, you should you have. You should have. me. You, you should have, have called me. You should have called me. Yes. Now, how do you say, no hubieras hecho eso? Um, Remember. You shouldn't. Uh-huh. You shouldn't. Uh, well. It's, it's the same structure. It's the same structure. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. What is what is the main verb? You shouldn't. No, you shouldn't have done that. Very good. Very good. So look, I was very worried because you never called, and then you tell your little brother, your little sister, whatever. You said, "Look, you shouldn't have you done shouldn't. that. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't have, have done that." that. Okay, very okay. good. Next one. The next one is... Nobody inform me. No. Yeah? Nobody inform me. Mm -hmm. mm. I was on fire. Yeah. They, sh they should have informed me the new shell. Okay. Now, remember, when we are pronouncing something with the ED, remember that ED has three possible sounds. You can say the or N. So, in the case of informed, the past tense of informed is informed. Informed. Okay, so one more time, Eduardo. It's like we had a T in the last of the uh, word. It's not a T, it's a T. 
TV. It's a T. Oh, it's a T. Yes. Informed. No. Informed, exactly. Nobody informed exactly. me yeah. of the new schedule, so I was mm. fired. Okay. Um, so, how do you somebody, say... Uh -huh. Somebody should have informed me. Good. What would be another form to say inform? Notice me? Um, okay, notice is usually a paper where they give you information. What about, what if we say notify? Notify. So they should have notified me. Notify me. Uh huh. Okay. Let me visit your classmates. I'll be back. So, okay. Yes. Tell, tell me. You have a question. Okay. No, 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 not at all. Uh, could be structured in someone uh -huh. should have a notified. Exactly. The, Very good. The new schedule. Exactly. So you say, look, okay. there are twenty people in my in my department. They should have notified me. They should have sent me an email. They should have sent me a WhatsApp. Okay, so yeah. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Number four, I called my ex wow. last night. We had a bar. He told everyone. Yes. You know yes. this. You should. Have. You must. You must not. You must not have. You must not tell everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, number four. Hi. Nobody Nobody informed of, of the new schedule. Schedule. So I was fired. 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 Do you fired. remember the three different sounds that we have fired. for ED? Fired. fired. Okay, so you said yeah. fired. Yes. Fired. Informed. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. So informed. nobody informed me of the new schedule. Informed. Schedule. Oh, I was fired. Schedule. I was fired. So. Uh -huh. You have called to talk with your boss. Okay. You should have. Nobody informed me of the new schedule. You should have. have. You should have. have. Call it. Call it to boss. You should have. I should have paid more Informed. attention. Okay. So maybe it was your fault and you said, man, I huh? should have paid more attention. That, mm -hmm. That's a good one. Maribel, what do you think? Uh, nobody informed me of the new schedule. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I think is you should have informed inform me about that. Okay. How do you say it's, me pudieron? You have, uh -huh. Tell me. You should have checked your email. Okay, you should have checked. 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 Your email. Good. With, with tea. Good. So you checked. go speak with your supervisor and your supervisor tells you, look, you should have checked your email. You should have checked your email. <laughs> Especially if your email is the main form they use to uh, to communicate. Okay, what yes, about the next one? I called my ex last night. We had a big fight. We had a big fight. I called my ex last night. Number one, you shouldn't be calling your ex. That's number yes. one. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. So, um, so, teacher, teacher, yes, but yes, Maribel. When, when can we use must? Uh, when you are very sure about something. For example, imagine the first that... One, I think the first one I told my brother I seek a secret. He told everybody, I, I know, I'm sure that he told everybody my secret. So okay. you haven't, you haven't, uh, you have, you, you must not, I'm sorry, you must not have, have told, told my secret to everybody. Okay, okay, so yes, so when uh, you tell your brother a secret, and he tells everybody. So he says, everybody knows, so mm -hmm. I know he must have spoken with all the town. He uh -huh. must have spoken with everybody. But you are, you are, you are tell the sentence in affirmative. Right, right, yes. Debió haberles dicho a todos. So you're very sure because everybody knows. Mm -hmm. So you say, he must have told every single person in the town. Every but single Okay, okay, but one don't, uh, don't, but why I can say uh, must not have, why not? Oh, must because not. because it doesn't make sense. In that case, you want to say, él no debió haberle dicho a nadie, right? Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. in that case, you are given advice, and then you say to yourself, look, he shouldn't have told anybody. He shouldn't have told anybody. You mm -hmm. are reflecting and you're giving your opinion. A mm -hmm. And that is the part where sometimes people get a little bit confused, like, mm -hmm. should, mm -hmm. think <laughs> that must, why would, and, and not might, for example, uh -huh. right? So you can, you can say must, you can say could, I mean, uh, you can say must, you can say should, but you have to be careful with the message you want to send. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you said, he shouldn't have told anybody about my secret. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, he must have told everybody in the town uh -huh. so you can you can okay thank you all right. all right so what about that one i called my ex last night we had a big fight what is your opinion funny what do you think funny i shouldn't i shouldn't Funny, are you there? I shouldn't tell. Call my ex. Funny. Marcelo, are you there? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what do you say in that case? I called my ex last night and we had a big fight. You should have feel alone. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, say, you must have felt alone. Okay. You must have felt alone. Say, I must have understood that we don't have anything to say. Exactly. Exactly. So after you finish the call, after you finish the fight, you say to yourself, look, I must have understood that there is no reason for me to be calling that number anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mar uh, Marcelo, okay, fine. And um, I'm going to visit your other classmates. We're almost going back to the main session. Finish the last two, please. Okay. You found the wallet and did not return it. Yeah. Four, four, four times four is 16. Yeah, must be more weak, but we are working on platform and we have online classes at night. Oh, okay. They complement the 40 hours. 
Okay. Okay. You guys finish with these topics? Yes. Okay. So what is your opinion when you say I called my ex last night and we had a big fight? There's a big deal. <laughs> okay. So what do that you is, say in that case using past models? That is a big mistake. I should have not called him. Exactly. Yeah, number one, you know you're not supposed to be calling that number anymore. Right? I don't have to call her. <laughs> exactly. You have no reasons to do it. Yeah. Okay. So so what can you say in that in that case? What case? That that you called your um your, your ex, ex. had a fight. It could be I called my ex last night, you so I sh so I don't have to call her because we had a big fight. Right, but how do you how do you that your information is good. Now, how do you use a past model to express what you just said? Mm. I should have deleted the number of my agenda. Very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, and that's a very good technique. Says, man, I should have deleted that number. Because if you have the number, the temptation is there. <laughs> or the alcohol. What is it? Or the alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, yeah. Alcohol can be a bad company too. <laughs> you know, you're you're drinking and you hear a voice like call her. Call her. <laughs> call her. <laughs> That's a devil. <laughs> so take care. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so let's return to the main uh, main uh, session. Maribel, are you hot? Are you hot? Wow, Maribel. <laughs> and you know, and, and the good thing is that we had a lot of rain today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that all the country uh, received uh, a lot of rain. Yes, yeah. but that's not too. Luckily, I think so. Well, that that depends on uh, on your job. Okay. Because if you're if you're working on the street with the distribution lines, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do anything to the rain since exactly. there's a lot of risk. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So the the rain is nice, but like. Uh, like you say, uh, it's not good for everybody. It depends on your job. Okay, so let's uh, let's discuss a couple of words that we have here. You see the PowerPoint? Not yet. Not oh, yet. Not yet. All right. So let's do this. Do you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. I know that you guys are familiar with these five words, uh, and we use them to connect ideas, and that's why we call them connectors. Uh, can somebody please read uh, the list that we have here? However. However. Therefore. Therefore. Despite of, despite of, never, never, less, nevertheless, 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 uh -huh. nevertheless, on the other hand. Okay, good. Now, can somebody explain the first one? What the function is of, however? 
anybody? I think that, however, it's to say that in other way this should be in, this, this could be on that. Yeah. This way of thinking. That that's that's what I think. Okay. Can you give me an example? Uh, let me go ahead and check. However. Well, the 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 water bill should be paid on the bank. However, you can go ahead and pay it online. Good. Very good. That's a good example. Good. Through, through your bank account, of course. Okay. So you use however to express contrast. Your example was very good. You say, look, you can pay your bill in the bank. However, you can go, you can pay it online. How do you say tienda in English? Tiendita. Grocery store. Yes, you can say okay. grocery store. You can grocery say convenience store. store. Can you repeat? Convenience. A convenience, convenience store. Convenience store. Right. Convenience store. Okay, thank you. And, and now with technology, you can pay your bills. You you have a lot of options. Yeah. You don't need to make the big lines anymore. Yeah. Okay. Express that. All right. Therefore, when do we use therefore? Anybody? And that happens when, for example, it is about a consequence, right? Good, yes. You use therefore, like Douglas was saying, to express consequence or result. So in December, you say to yourself, I was saving money since the beginning of the year. Therefore, I'm gonna buy me uh, a nice watch. So, you were saving money, and thanks to the saving, now you have the money to buy yourself a watch. Is therefore clear? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Anybody? Uh, anybody has any questions with therefore? Yes, I have a question. Therefore, it's just like a consequence. Yes. It okay. introduces consequence or result. Okay. For example, you said, well, I have been studying all week, therefore, I'm prepared for tomorrow's exam. Así que. No. Por tanto. Therefore. Yeah, but you know, like, I, I never thought about that option. Así que. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. This spider. I got a question. Yes. And yes. I heard about in spite of it is the same or it yes. is a contrast. No, it, it's the same. It's the same. And, and that's a very good observation. You can say despite of or you can say in spite of. Oh, okay. They are the same. They are the okay. same. Yes. Now, do you remember the differences in pronunciation between this and O double F? Remember? I don't. What? Where? Oh, 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 oh. 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 You keep oh. Okay. Oh. To, to the okay. How do you pronounce the first one? Oh. 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 Maybe oh. 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 Okay. Oh. So the first oh. one, the first one oh. you say of. With me. Oh. With me. Yes, oh. the sound is me. Oh. With the second one, you say of. Of. Oh. Yes. Oh. So, oh. 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 Apparently, um, uh, apparently, they are the same, but they're not. Especially okay. because if you compare, the only difference is you repeat the same letter twice here. So you said, it's the same? No, it's not the same. This is of, and this is off. Yeah, despite of. Yeah, despite of. Very good, despite of. 
So when do I you use this spider? Well, I have a question uh, regarding to this. Yes, uh, uh, sir. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is spider. It's that it's a synonym. It's a synonym. Sorry, I don't know if the spider. It's a synonym of even thought. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. And that's a good observation. Uh, there are so, many connectors that they are synonyms. So it so, is to contrast. Uh, not necessarily, but in the case of the example he was giving, like, uh, what was the word you said? Even though. Even though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so even though, even though I have a hundred dollars in my pocket, I have to pay bills. So I can say despite of having a hundred dollars in my pocket, I have to pay bills. So they can be used as synonyms. Yes. And what about Aldo? Aldo. Aldo, can, can somebody explain Aldo? I think Aldo. that also it's a synonym, but nevertheless. Okay. Aldo, nevertheless, in spite of, they are used in a very similar way. Now, usually when you say although, it, it goes at the beginning. Although it's not going to rain tomorrow, I prefer to stay home. Although I don't have money to pay my bills, tomorrow is the last day. Teacher. Oh, yes. And that it is, it is the same when when you put at the end of a sentence, comma, and this, and the thought, dot. What do you mean? Do. Oh, okay. Do. No. Do. In that case, when you say do, uh, you're saying but. Uh, For example, okay. if I said, look, I want to go to the stadium, but I don't have money. Or I can say, I want to go to the stadium, I don't have money though. So yeah. the function is exactly the same. The only thing is that but goes in the middle and though goes at the end. At the end, oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. All right, good. Uh, nevertheless, nevertheless. It's like, however. Yes. Okay. So you say, look, it's not raining. Nevertheless, I'm going to bring my umbrella just in case. It is like to contract something. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. So you said it's not raining anymore. Nevertheless, I want to be ready, so I will bring the umbrella. And what about the last one? It it is not similar to nevertheless, on the other hand. Sure. Uh, the only thing is that when you use on the other hand, usually you are comparing. And yes, when you are comparing, in this case, you're talking about different things. So on the other hand, oh, yeah. so let's say, for example, uh, you usually come early. On the other hand, you don't start working until half hour later. Oh, yeah. Can okay. be, uh, be by the way? No. By the way is used in a different form. Uh, by the way is when you want to make emphasis about something. The by the way is like on, on purpose. Like what? On purpose? Mm, not really. Um, by the way, by the way is what we say, um, a propósito, de hecho, you want, to, you want to make emphasis on something in particular. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, in other hand, is, is the same the to say another way, another way. Um, not exactly. It would be better if you say on the contrary. Mm. 
So once again, you usually say on the other hand, when you say something, but you will say something completely different to what you previously said. So it is similar to instead. Instead? No, instead is different. Instead uh. is when you are doing one thing when you were supposed to be doing something different. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to go to work today, but instead I went to the beach. Uh, okay, okay. So in there and uh -huh. there is is necessary the the to pronounce the article. Which one? Instead of the last one. Sure, the yes. One. Um, instead of but sometimes if you were gonna use instead at the end, you don't have to. So for example, if I tell you, look, you were supposed to go to class today, but you went to the park instead and you finish right there. Mm -hmm. okay. If you're going to finalize the sentence with the word instead, then you don't need the preposition. Andrea. Uh, Got it? I told you. I told you in the in the last one. In the other hand. Uh huh. What about so sorry it? To pronounce the article G, the Oh yes, yes. Oh okay. I, I get it now. Yes, you must use it. You must include it. You must pronounce it. On the other hand, D D. On the other hand. On the other hand. Uh, okay. All right. Um, any questions or comments about these connectors? No. No. Okay. Now let me ask you. We only have ten more minutes. What is your favorite part of the year? Christmas. 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 Okay. Why Christmas? Why Christmas? Because Christmas, when it's Christmas, I receive, I receive my an because extra money. money. <laughs> my extra money. Okay, what's the name of that extra money? That's Christmas bonus, I think so. Yeah, bonus. Christmas bonus, mm. yes. Mm. Okay, now how, in El Salvador, how do people decorate their houses for Christmas? They used to put a Christmas tree. Okay. Uh, what else besides the Christmas tree? Cooking a dinner, a uh, delicious dinner. Okay. Yes, uh, every uh, people get together with their family and they have a delicious mm -hmm. dinner. Now that you mentioned dinner, what is the other word you use to refer to a special dinner? <laughs> Um, let me give you an example. Christmas giving. Okay. Um, let's say you graduate from the university, from high school, whatever. So your family offers you a dinner to celebrate. But it's not dinner. You call it supper. Supper. S-U- Double P E R. Super. P E R. P E R. Let me give you another example. What was the name of the famous event before Jesus Christ died? The Last Supper. The Last Supper. The last supper. Okay. Exactly. Uh, so you say Last Supper. You don't say Last Dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes. So for Christmas, people have supper. Now, what is the traditional dish? Turkey. 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 In Latin America, it's turkey. It's turkey. Okay, turkey. Uh, what else? If, if, we talk, if we talk about decoration, how do we decorate our houses? With a Christmas tree. And with lights. With lights. Right, light we have lights. Boat. What is it? 
But what do you mean? Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Santa's shoes. But made. Uh -huh. uh, I, what is that word? I, I don't get it. Okay, what, what about the decoration that you put under the tree? Under the tree. And give, uh, you put Christmas spears as well as you have a big star on the tree, on the top of the tree, of the, of the Christmas tree. Okay, okay. You have light bulbs uh, around the, the, the Christmas tree. And you put the representation of the gift present. The, Jesus the Holy Family. Okay, uh, in English you call it nativity. Okay. Nativity scene. Nativity. Now what are the characters when you are uh, uh, when you go to nativity scene? Three? No. The Virgin Mary. No. Uh huh. Jesus. And Joseph. Mary, Joseph. Joseph. Baby Jesus. The. An angel. The angel. And the. I don't know how to say. Reyes Magos. Aha, uh -huh. good question. You see the chat? The wise. The wise. Uh huh. Not even seen. I don't know if the wise man or the wise the king. Yeah, three wise men. Two wise men. Ah, oh, three wise men. Yeah, the three wise men. And then you have the nativity. And the donkey. Right. So where where does that uh, scenario take place? Where you have the animals, you have the baby Jesus. Where does that where where does that take place? It's um. Uh, can you repeat? Uh, what is it? Uh, okay, but, but, but what's the name of that place where you keep domestic animals like the donkey, the, the, the cow? Stables. Yes, the stable. The stable. The stable. Yes. All right. Um, anything else about Christmas? No. No? All right, so let's go oh. here. Uh, where's this page? Right here. Do you see the questions? Yeah. Yes. You see the yes. questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have about four minutes at least to discuss maybe the first or two questions. So I'm gonna make rooms, start um, and start talking. Let's go. What is that Christmas it? Day? No, 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 no. What is Christmas? Uh huh. What is Christmas? Christmas is Je Jesus' birthday. Okay. A celebration. Okay. It's a tradition. Okay. And when do we celebrate Christmas in El Salvador? On December. December. December 24. Okay. 25th. Okay. Is Christmas the 24th or the 25th? The 25th. So what is the celebration on the 24th? It's Holy Night. Um, no. Uh, you call it, um, let me write it for you. Mucho okay. buena. <laughs> yes. Let's see, this is, uh -huh. right, in Spanish you call it Noche Buena, or you can also call it Vispera. Mm -hmm. oh. Christmas Eve. Christmas mm -hmm. Eve. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so in El Salvador, we celebrate Christmas Eve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay. Let me check and see what your friends are doing. Okay. 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 By any well, chance, did you, could, could you go ahead and share with us once again the questions? Right there. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yes, what is Christmas? Like I say, Christmas is a season, a huge, a huge event for, him, for, for itself. A, because the first day of December, everybody's talking about. Yep. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So it's almost nine o'clock already. We have to finish the session. Once again, thank you very much. And I will see you Monday, same place, same time. Okay, thank you. Have okay, a wonderful you. weekend and rest. Have a nice weekend. Good night. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.